When the law fails to serve justice, one can buy justice. Underground groups offer assassinations at reasonable prices, but they only take on missions that they agree would serve justice. This is a story of Teshu Fujioka, a doctor by day, a hired assassin by night. It was a warm spring evening when Teshu was ordered to murder Nasu and Echigoya. Both were guilty of kidnapping village girls and selling them as slaves to neighboring states. The families of the daughters felt that the officials would not punish Nasu because he was a high-ranking statesman. Both Nasu and Echigoya must be killed, not just one of them.
Goya. Give my regards to your old man. Where is Nosso? We think he's in the main house. Got it. Tell the boss I'll be done within the hour. Understood.
Then you sell the girls into slavery and grow rich from your disgusting trade. How did you get here? What the? Damn it! 
Who was that? One of Goda's ninjas, my friend. You've been watching, boss? Zenosuke Otou. His mild-mannered appearance conceals his true identity. Leader of the underground organization Muzen that employs Teshu. Well, you saw it. Now we won't be able to collect for this contract. Never mind that ninja, Teshu. Don't ever cross swords with the Azuma. Nasu was killed by another assassin. This truly bothered Teshu. He could not sleep well that night. Teshu's curiosity regarding Goda's ninjas escalated because Zenosuke kept telling him to forget about it, since crossing swords with the Azuma was the same as suicide. But Teshu was still angry that he could not collect his fee because Rikimaru got to his target first. Ignoring Zenosuke's advice, Teshu sneaks into Goda's castle to find Rikimaru and prove to himself that he is the better assassin. Wish my wife was here. Ah! 
Instagram.
This room suits me fine. I came here looking for you, Ninja. Why did you stop? To light a candle is to cast a shadow. You stopped first. I wasn't trying to kill you. Just wanted to make a point. But if we meet again, one of us will die. <laughs> 